Alright, so today you guys can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be checking out five insanely cool new ores that I think Minecraft needs. Be sure to stick until the end of the video, dudes, because this last ore is actually the most overpowered ore I may have seen in my entire life. Now, real quick, before we do get into that, Bessie told me she created a cloning machine where if you guys leave a like and I snap my fingers, I will multiply. I honestly don't believe her, so go ahead and drop a like and let's try this out in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, what? It worked. Oh, let's try it with my other hand. Three, two, one. What? Whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> this is weird. Now she said when I clap my hands together and you guys subscribe, all of the clones should go away. Let's try it out in three, two, one. Ho, oh, oh, ho, they multiply. That's not supposed to happen. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to slap my face? Hold on, let's see. Oh God, okay. Oh yeah, throw my shoulders. This is weird. Oh God, no, 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 dude. There's way too many of me. I thought one was enough. Well, I, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna figure out how to fix this. Woo! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Bessie told me uh, that all I had to do was fart, and I did it, and they all went away. So we fixed it. But anyway, let's start out our journey here to find the five brand new ores and ingots. In this chest, there's cookies. Wait, it says I can just eat cookies, or I can start my journey. Cookies? New ores. Cookies? The golden cookie! New ores. Can I do both? I'm just gonna take one cookies. Okay, I think it's okay. But anyway, let's go ahead down here. It looks like the first brand new ore that I think Minecraft needs is copper. Now, copper is super, super common in your Minecraft world when you install the mod, which will be linked down below in the description. It's a very basic material, almost as common as coal. So you can practically find this stuff anywhere. Now, as we keep going down through these different ores, they are gonna get more rare and more powerful. So be sure to stick until the end to see all of them. But you'll notice that I can smelt this down just like an iron piece of ore. And then I could use the ingots to create tools. And there's also a special thing I can do with it, which is going to require ore number two, which is tin. Now, for those of you guys that didn't know, these are actually two of the most common resources in the actual world. So it is super cool to have these in Minecraft now. Obviously the real world has coal, it has iron, it has diamonds, but now it has even more ores that you can use in order to create new tools and weapons. So if we go over here, you will see that I'm actually able to smelt both of these down into their respective ingots and the neat part is if i grab some copper along with the tin combine them together in a crafting bench just like this you will get a brand new bronze ingot now this stuff is so useful you can craft a full set of armor out of it oh yeah boys i'm looking fresh it kind of looks like iron but a little bit rusty and a little bit like poop. The other cool thing is you could use these to craft weapons. So you'll notice that a bronze sword does six attack damage, which is very, very close to a diamond sword. I can also upgrade my pickaxe to a bronze pick, which is just a tad bit better. And that brings us to ores number three and four, which is chromium and magnesium. I'm not sure which is which because supposedly they look extremely similar. See, look at that. I got two magnesium and two chromium and they look the exact same. Let's see. So this one one is uh, chromium and is this one magnesium yeah it is I honestly can't really tell the difference though it doesn't really matter too much because if you come across both of them you're going to need them in order to combine them together with some iron and coal so these work just like the other ores you're able to smelt them down super quickly but if I go inside of this chest you will see I have the chromium I have the magnesium they also look very similar but if I grab some coal and iron head into a crafting bench combine these two bad boys together with coal and also iron I will get a brand new material which you guys probably know as steel steel is a huge upgrade you'll notice that when I craft a full set of armor out of it it is the same if not better than diamonds let's craft the bodies let's get the helmy and just like that we are decked out in full steel armor now, even though it looks like iron, you can see on my hotbar, it gives me full armor durability. 
Plus, just like every single brand new ore and ingot in this, you can craft weapons and also tools out of it. So I can get a steel sword, which does the same as diamonds. And I'm also definitely going to need the pickaxe, which you're going to 1000% need to get your hands on in order for the last ore. So if I go down here to the end of the cave, you will notice ore number five can really only be found in the end dimension, or that's where it's at least most popular. So we need to head in there and find a very purplicious ore. If I miss any, be sure to comment down below so i don't see any right off the bat but this should be super common we could just dig around there might actually yes okay dudes i think we actually found some now you can tell it blends a little bit with the endstone are you kidding me hey bassy how's it going no i did not die to the ender dragon i just i ate too many cookies let's go ahead and try for round two <laughs> please don't kill me so if we head right down here, you will notice that this ore kind of doesn't blend in too well with the end stone, which is a great way to find it. What are you doing? Stop it. No, no, no. I need to build a little house. This was normally 10 times easier. You're supposed to kill the ender dragon first so that you actually, you know, can mine in peace. But now I'm an absolute savage and a professional Minecraft player. So do not try this at home. Now let's go ahead and mine our first piece of the brand new ore, which is actually called Harcadium. This thing takes so long to mine, but it is extremely worth it. You'll notice it looks like a super rare black hole gem. Its element number is 753. It's incredibly durable. And apparently it's the stuff ender pearls are made out of. We can use this to make brand new blocks and we could also use it to make new pieces of armor and also weapons you'll see we're gonna need a lot of this stuff though i'm going to go ahead and try and mine at least like 30 to 40 of these bad boys i know bessie has some back in the house but i want to see just how difficult it is to mine as many as i need we can go ahead and fast forward through this part all right Seba. oh you son of a gun well that didn't last very long did it Luckily, I had my beautiful cow, Bessie, go ahead and mine so, so many of these bad boys. So you'll notice when I take them out, we have a stack plus three. Now, if I go over to my crafting bench and we can start crafting the armor, you will notice that it gives me plus 80 max health. Keep in mind, a normal Minecraft player only starts out with 20 health. So that immediately quadruples my original health. Let's go ahead and plop on the first piece and let's see. <laughs> Look at that. I have four extra rows of hearts. And that's just from one singular piece of armor, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and craft the pants. We can craft the boots, which give me 40 health. And last but not least, the Arcadium helmet, which gives me plus 50 health. Comment down below how much max health you think I'm going to have after putting on the entire suit. If I had to guess, I would say somewhere between 100 and 150. Let's see, let's add the helmet, which is 50, the boots, which is 40, that's already 90, plus 80, that's 170 extra health, plus another 70, I have, I believe, 240 max health. Oh my goodness, that is sick! Yo, wait a second. I'm a little bit faster, too. I jump higher. No, wait a second. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It gives me, like, every single effect. I have speed, haste, strength, absorption, saturation, jump boost, regeneration, resistance, fire resistance, and also water breathing. <laughs> Look at this. I can never die. Whoa. Oh my gosh, one click. Look at my hand. Bop. Oh. oh my gosh. My hand is like a machine gun. Now, I also have yet to craft the different armor and tools. But actually, I did craft the armor. I haven't crafted the tools and the sword. Let's craft the sword. No, no. Oh my gosh. I forgot. I need diamonds. So I also had Bessie add in an extra utility mod, which essentially makes it so that in the end dimension, there will be a ton of normal ores, such as diamonds right here, and also the Harcadium and a bunch of other ones. If you guys do want to check that out, it will be linked down below. But look at this, dudes. I have so much haste. I'm also curious how much strength I have. We should be able to test it out on the Ender Dragon. Let's see. One hit. With a 7 attack damage sword, I did 110 damage. That is insane. Come on down, you giant uh, pancake. Let's do a dance. Legitimately, as soon as it comes across me again, I'm pretty sure I might kill it in one more hit. Wait a second. Are these emeralds in the end dimension? Let's see. Emerald and stone. That is amazing. Let's see if we can find some diamonds for our brand new weapons. Hello? Oh, one more hit, one more hit. I also really do not have to even worry about dying because look at, look, look how many hearts I have. That is crazy. 
It looks like there's also coal here. What the? Why am I on fire? Wait, is this not coal? Ladies and gentlemen, I may have discovered a brand new ore. I just tried mining it for like at least 30 seconds and it wouldn't let me. So I'm thinking I may need the Harcadium items. Would you stop growling at my face, you giant hungry monster? Can't you see I'm trying to look for diamonds here? Is this diamonds? Hello, diamonds? Let's see, diamond and ore, let's go. I don't need too, too many. If I can maybe get my hands, stop it! If I can maybe get my hands on like five or six diamonds, that should hopefully be enough. Stay away! Social distancing, haven't you heard? Hello, diamonds, hello. Why couldn't Bessie give me a machine that can just find diamonds? She can make a machine to clone myself. If you guys do wanna see that for a separate video, definitely drop a like. Diamonds over here, we have the purple stuff. Diamonds over here. Yes, we did it. Hey, hey, I found the diamonds. These are mine. Stinking dragon trying to steal all my gosh dang diamonds. Wow, we found a lot. It looks like we have made. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting the heck out of here before this thing eats all my diamonds and my cookies. Wait a second, more diamonds. I think 10 should hopefully do the trick. Let's go head back home. Yay. Wait, I just realized it's going to take me like three years to die. I'm just in the void. Look, there's, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing here. I have too many hearts. I need to take off my armor. That's how insane this is. Look, I still have the effects. I've never wanted to die so bad. There we go, boom. So we should be able to bring these brand new and stone diamond ores down here to a furnace. Where's the closest furnace? Boom, there we go. Don't need magnesium anymore. Let's plop in the diamond and stone ore and let's get to work. Wait a second, that gives you four diamond ore? This stuff is magical. I think 12 should hopefully be enough. This is insane. So now I should be able to plop these down. This is officially my new favorite way to get diamonds. I'm thinking, yeah, steel should definitely 100% be able to mine up diamonds. And there we go, we got the last of them, which means I should be able to head in here, put the diamond on the bottom, with the Harcadium on the top, and just like that, we have a Harcadium sword, which does 50 attack damage. Now, some of you guys may have seen this before in my Titan series, except the thing is, I never actually crafted it. Normally, Bessie just gets it for me. Let's go and get the axe as well. Just for fun, let's see what the Harcadium hoe. It does 50 attack damage. That's more than the pickaxe. Well, we might as well see the shovel. If the hoe does that much damage, the, the, the shovel, okay, the shovel does the least. But let's test this out, Harcadium. Yo, it's much animal and faster than creative mode, boys. This is sick, ladies and gentlemen, look at me go. I officially have, I'm pretty sure, close to 300 Minecraft hearts, my armor set is just out of this world my tool set is insane the shovel is instant as well the hoe you know it still does the normal sort of hoe things but i can also use the hoe as a creeper yeeter it's pretty effective now for the moment of truth i want to head back to the end dimension see how fast i could take out the ender dragon and also check out the brand new ore that i found come here cutie come up i also forgot to mention that this sword has a crazy cool special attack if you hold down right click it will load up a sweep attack, which normally slices through a ton of mobs. I'm not sure why it didn't slice the Ender Dragon's head off. It's coming back in for part two, boys. Let's do it. Boom! One hit KO! That was insane! Let's go ahead and test out the right-click effect. Let's see. Three, two, one. Do it! Yo, my gosh, it sliced all of them. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. Slice! <laughs> that is insane! Now, ladies and gentlemen, before I do end off today's episode, let's go see. Is this the new ore? Nope, never mind. False alarm. That's just coal. I really want to find it, though. I've never had an ore set me on fire when I tried to mine it before. Is this it? Nope. Is this just more? Yep, more coal. It might be this one. This one's all by itself. Yeah, look at that. When I left click on it, it starts making really weird noises. Let's go ahead and mine it up and see what it is. Oh my gosh, you'll never believe it! 